Sitting here today with Nate Woodbury, wondering what is the best external hard drive to use, and possibly what are the worst external hard drives not to use? Is that a double negative? We'll discover shortly. Stay with us. Yeah, I definitely have an answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so before I tell you the answer of what's the best and what's the worst, I, I actually want to talk about what's the reason why you would want to edit from an external and hard drive. I was going to say, why are, yeah, why are you even sitting here talking a boot, not Canadian, yeah. uh, hard, hard drives, external hard drives? Because this doesn't seem to be part of the realm of YouTubing. But now well, you've made you, a connection. Got, yeah, you need hardware to be able to, to edit the software, right, or edit the videos. Now, my MacBook, it's got a 500 gigabyte hard drive, and I'm, I'm constantly, you know, every week I'm filming a couple hundred gigabytes of, of software. So I obviously can't store it all there. Right. We've talked about Dropbox. Yes. So I use Dropbox. I've got, I've got many terabytes of, of storage there. But for convenience, I need an external hard drive. We all do. When I'm, not ac when I'm out and about and I don't have quick internet or if I you know, need to sort files first before putting it on the cloud. And I've used, I'm just going to show you right here. All these three are all Western Digital. This one is actually a pretty recent purchase. It's a piece of garbage. The My Wireless Passport, uh, I bought this, I think I paid 200 bucks. Okay, I was like, did I, did I leave an SD card in there? It's a blank thing. And it's supposed to like, you connect it to the computer and you, I can't figure out how to transfer files. It's slow. It won't like wake up and I lose things. So I think, and, I, and they wouldn't let me return it. I paid 200 bucks for it. I could not return it. And and how big is it? What's its capacity? Uh, it's it's at least a terabyte or two or three. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Anyway. It's, it's just a piece of garbage. Like, it made me so mad that I couldn't return it. This one I've had for years and years, and it's probably like 500 gigabytes. I don't know. Yeah, because the older ones are bigger. The older. This one, yeah. this one, I think, is like a one or a two terabyte that I used later. And, and it's it, a brick. Man. Yeah, but it, but... Western Digital, they're they're cheap, and that's why I went with them. But right. they're you connected your computer, and, and it, they can't find each other. It's like, is it gonna wake up? Is it there? And it's just like maybe you get what you pay for. Is that what you're saying yeah. so far, at least? So then I saw I saw in a YouTube video on Casey Neistat's desk was this orange external hard drive, and I started looking into it and finding out, okay, it costs more. Why is that? It's and it's got this foam, you know, this is just a foam case that's yeah. on, on the outside of the Protective. box. But it, if you drop it, it's supposed to be a lot more drop resistant because imagine if you lost all your footage, right? right? So this one holds two terabytes. Now, going back to the actual title of this video, which was best external hard drive for video editing, this works so fast that you, you can actually edit from this. Where if, if even if I could get this to connect, the 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 processing yeah, power yeah. and the transfer rate from this to the computer, it would have a lag in my video editing. Right. It would have to stop and think where I can edit directly from this hard drive. See, that's a great point. Oh, it's amazing. That is a great point because you're right. So many times, rather than having to transfer things back and forth to edit them, to be able to go right mm -hmm. off of that external, it has that processing So it, it's Lacey brand, L-A-C-I-E. and This um, one's bigger. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll talk about that. But... It's just bigger. There's no difference in these two. <laughs> the other great thing is when, and it's got, this has got a cord built in that just connects right to my it's MacBook. The mini, the, uh, is it the lightning or thunder? Or it's called, uh, they call them mini uh, rainstorm mini display ports or whatever. Yeah. Lava, <laughs> volcano, I don't know. <laughs> but you connect it to your computer and guess what? It's just, it's there. It's as if it's a drive on your, your computer. You can connect some other cable as well. That, yeah. Right? The, the newer, it gives you a couple options, but I don't have to. So yeah, this you don't have to. This one has that one. Yeah. So you just connect it, and it's and it's connected, and uh, you connect it, and it's connected. Isn't that brilliant? We like to keep things simple. So why yeah. do I have two? Well, this one has two terabytes, and I, I like to kind of keep two backup reserves. So when I when I film on a DSLR, I'll take the SD card, plug it in the side of my MacBook, and I'll first transfer all the files to my Lacey external hard drive, put it all in a folder and I'll sort them. Okay, this is video one, this is video two, this is video three, this is video four. And I sort them all, then I put them onto, onto my Dropbox folder on my Mac. 
and then once they've synced Dropbox, they unsync them, and I can take more from my Lacey hard drive, you know, from a different client, huh. put them there, because they've only got 500 gigabytes on there. But I, I keep them backed up here, and I put them on Dropbox. And then after a two, three months, I can then just delete them off of here because we've already edited them. They're right. on YouTube and they're, and they're and they're backed up in the cloud. That's a great idea. Yeah. But after after I don't know, maybe I've had this for a couple of years at least. I just wanted some more space to have a little bit longer backup time here because I've got more clients now that I was starting to cycle, you know, shorten that that cycle time. So this is a five terabyte. So right now I'm just filling this one up, and when this one gets full, I'll just delete everything that's on here and fill this up to two terabytes. And when this is full, then I'll just go and start. Anyway, so I've now I've got seven terabytes. Of so it. how much does the five terabyte drive? Do you remember? Uh, You've got that online, I'm guessing. I got somewhere. it on Amazon. Yeah. I can put a link in the description below. I'm curious. Yeah. Um, but I, uh, I want to say it was a few hundred bucks. I don't, I don't remember. Yeah. I don't remember. But it is, it's basically, I mean, you know, everybody wants to have storage in the palm of their hand because, mm -hmm. like you say, there's a limit to what we can do on our local machines. But to be able to have the processing power and the speed and the immediate connectivity is a dream come it just, true. It just works flawless. It's, yeah. it's definitely worth it. You want to go with something that, um, that's... I was so sick and tired of just the junk. The yeah. junk that... Sorry, Western Digital, but you make junk. Uh, don't sell this stuff. Don't buy this stuff. Don't make this stuff. The, these, just, Western Digital seems, if I can put it in these terms, PC. And this, Lacey... Seems they, Mac. Well, this because you know it has I mean? a Mac connector right. built into That's it. What I mean, it's like I think they have looks, other versions. It's kind of sexy like a Mac too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Rounded curves. And so edges. you're saying PC low quality Mac? Better. I, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, go. and I'm a convert. I've only had been a Mac guy for the past you know five or six years. Yeah, I, I converted to Mac five years ago too when there I bought that when I bought that Mac. Well, Definitely. question asked, question answered. Did we cover everything? I think we did. Definitely. I said that we would link to the exact models of these two Lacey hard drives in the description so that you can go to Amazon, buy it, and then I get a few bucks. I was going to say, you should make some money off that. I should make bank off that's of this a topic video. for another that, video. That's, that's why I'm so wealthy. Yeah. <laughs> we hope we answered your questions, or at least Nate did. I, I don't have many answers, but the questions I have are... You've got a lot of good answers, just not on any, anything helpful. Anything, <laughs> anything pertinent. <laughs> Just teasing. Oh, of course. Hey, if you have any comments for us, suggestions, or uh, you know, if you want to share this with other people, if you want some comic do. relief, you should actually check out his channel. Yeah, Scott yeah. Christopher. It's Scott Christopher. Christopher. I, it's not all comedy. It's a bunch of important issues. Important stuff, helpful stuff, life stuff, family yeah. stuff, church yeah. stuff. So, so no comedy whatsoever. Please always comedic, whatever the topic. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow.